Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. As you can see, I'm still reveling on my 150 kilowatt hour battery. And <laughs> I'm doing a video again because the trolls came out. The negative Nancy's and the shorts came out because Edison Yu from Deutsche Bank just put out a report and they had to spin it in their way and came out and put negative comments on my channel because like I told you, they are becoming so desperate that they, they are pooping themselves. So I want to go over what Edison Yu said and show you how again we're getting ready to make serious money. So let me say this, guys. NEO is trading at $7.27 down uh, the last time the market was open. The 52-week low is $7 and the 52-week high is $16.18. I own 2,260 shares at $3.53. And on the SoFi platform, I hold another 458 shares at $8.78. So what are the shorts panicking about this morning? Edison U team believes that NEO can cut costs in five areas. Battery cells, chip development. Remember, we're making our own in-house chip because of the problem with the trade war. Um, we saw it fit to start making our own chips. Battery swap, dealer network, and phone. Okay. NEO reduced its workforce by about 10% in November, like we know. Through its Deutsche Bank view, the company may need to rationalize further to properly align its cost structure. That could take the form of additional headcount reduction or strategic action that could result in incremental cost savings of about 1.5 billion RMB, Edison U team said in a research note to investors today. Neo selling general and administrative expenses were RB 1 billion higher than Lee Auto in the third quarter. But remember, again, Lee Auto is a hybrid. They're not pure EV, they're not a computer. But anyway, despite selling 50,000 fewer units and spending nearly three times more on research and development than Xiaopeng, the team noted. Beyond the obvious need to reduce cash burn, we think management might have misread the market backdrop over hiring and attempting to bring in-house capabilities that are no longer critical to the company's success. So what Edison Yu is saying is we have to evolve with what's going on. And he's right about that. It's, he said it's no longer critical, which is important. You have to understand what he's saying. It was critical at one point and we were doing what we we're supposed to do, now it's no longer critical. Anyway, use team identified five areas where costs can be reduced. Battery cell. Now remember, we're doing a spin-off with our battery. Uh-huh. What does that mean, guys? I spoke about that briefly in my last, in one of my previous videos. It means that we're making that a separate company, so to speak, and investors will be investing into that institutional investors as well so it will help cut cost on our end what how does that benefit us we're going to get shares in that company genius he says we should also uh, areas where cost can be reduced is in chip development now let me touch back briefly on well let me say this first chip development which will most likely spin off as well get shares in that battery swap dealer network and cell phones which we are already doing remember we said we're going to use um dealerships to sell our um our evs but they have to meet our standard right it's not going to be no fly-by-night dealership and cell phones again spin-offs coming what does that mean for our pocket guys cha-ching 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 Benjamin Franklin is coming our way with his sexy wig. Now, I'm doing a video later on today. I'm, I'm going to give away a little bit of hint on it. When it comes to all of this, battery cell chip development, battery swap, 
well, not the dealer network, but the cell phones. There is a company that has already invested in us heavily. It's a British company. <laughs> you heard me right. I'm not talking about Shell. Shell is Dutch. It's a British company that has invested heavily into us and is investing into all these areas with us. I'm doing a video on that that's going to amaze you. Stay tuned for that one today, guys. NEO's management confirmed during an earnings call on June the 9th, 2022, that the company would develop its own batteries, saying at the time that it would look at areas including battery material cells, battery management systems. And like I said, this British company has already invested heavily with us on this. And we'll, when we do the spin-off, I guarantee you they're going to invest into that spin-off. On December 6, Reuters reported that Neo plans to spin off his battery manufacturing unit, a move that could take place as early as the end of this year. We're going to be getting more shares. After which, the battery unit will seek outside investors, and this British company is already on board with us. Okay. Use team estimated that there are over 500 employees in this division after the recent headcount reduction down from 750 with annual operating expenses of between 300 million and 500 million. So this operating cost, we won't have to worry about that, that anymore. That's what the spin-off is about. Considering that China already has a very strong local supply chain and battery suppliers are competing for market share and driving technological advances which naturally reduces costs, the spin-off makes sense. So the, the shorts and the negative Nancys that are shitting in their pants, excuse my language, and came on my video that I just did about the solid state battery that we just shocked the market with to try to um, talk about what Edison U is saying here to make it in a negative light. They said, oh, we're going to lose money. Edison U said we're losing money on the batteries. No, idiot. English language is a very simple language. It's only complicated if you make it complicated. If I can learn it as a foreigner, you can as well. So... <laughs> The team said, adding that lithium carbonate prices have also fallen precipitously so far this year. Now let's touch on that. The lithium carbonate batteries are volatile and catches fire a lot. And this is one of the main reasons why Xi Jinping, the, the Chinese government said that these batteries need to be checked periodically. And that's why I said that it is one of the main reasons why all these huge companies now are in talks with us to adopt battery as a service because they know that the station automatically checks the health of the battery. Cha-ching, cha-ching. That's right. More money for us. But this is why it is so important that this solid state, we came out with a solid state battery through WeLion because it is way safer. It is way, it is less volatile. And again, making us the trendsetter, the big stepper. We are setting the benchmark for the industry. Plus, it takes us on a further on one charge. Oh my God. In other words, we don't see any meaningful advantage keeping battery cell production in-house. And this is why we did the spin-off. We're gonna do it, sorry, by the end of this year. When we do the in-house chip spin-off, hmm, more money in our pockets. Neo first in-house chip, a LiDAR main control chip, began production in October. Excuse me, guys. The company also planned to develop autonomous driving SOCS cockpit infotainment chips and even a CMO image sensor chip, chip you teams noted. The teams believe that this division can also be a spin-off. My God, didn't I tell you guys, we are with the right company getting ready to make a lot of money. When they spin off this chip branch, what do you think is going to happen with us? And we need to make these chips because of the trade war <clears throat> and the Biden administration uh, in such fear of Chinese development that they're banding NVIDIA and other companies from selling us chips. 
we see that even though they're doing this, it's not working. I spoke about Huawei coming out with the, the first cell phone, even though they were under sanctions and weren't able to get chips, they made their own chips that is satellite connected as well. First phone company to do that. But anyway, because of these sanctions, Neo started making their own chips as well, which is very important and very smart and staying ahead of the game. Anyway, as real value add to Neo brand seems minimal and some viable local alternatives are gaining traction such as Horizon Robotics and Black Sesame, even if the US government adopts more restrictions on Nvidia in terms of chips, Neo could source elsewhere for its next generation platform. So we can source elsewhere, we can spin off and have this chip um, company as a separate entity and we'll have shares in this chip company as well. In addition, semiconductor development is of strategic importance in China, which could, which should make it an attractive area for local investors in our chip spin-off, according to the team. And this British company I'm talking about, they also already invested in us in all these departments. Considering Neo's strong team led by X Huawei and progress thus far, the chip division may even fetch a solid valuation, most likely higher than the battery unit in our view, the team said. <laughs> Do you guys see how much money we're getting ready to make, guys? Okay. Battery swap. By opening up the battery swap network to more strategic partners in the industry, NEO will benefit from sharing the CAPEX burden and potentially collecting future operating license fees. And we all know that we don't have to worry when it comes to the Chinese government if we want certain licenses to do things related to our business. Like you see, we were one of the only ones to get a manufacturing license when Lee Auto and I think it was Xpeng had to get their licenses through uh, acquiring of companies. So it's kind of like, think of it like this guys, it's like the alcohol industry in America, you can't get any more license, you have to buy the license from someone who already have it. But with us, the Chinese government says, here you go, we see the innovation, we see the product and the quality because one of the main reasons why and let me just say this that the chinese government did, doesn't want to give any more manufacturing licenses they don't want oversaturation of especially of these toy plastic looking things that these other companies are making the team estimated neo third generation battery swap stations have a capex of rmb 1 million to rmb 1.5 million per station NEO aims to have more than 4,000 stations by 2025, which would mean saving about 1 billion if we do a, a, a spin-off of the battery swap stations as well. So we will have shares in an energy company as well. My God, guys, I did not even see this coming. See, the, the shorts read this and tried to spin it and they were putting comments on my channel. And I told you when they come at me, Boy, they wake up a monster, a lion. Chang'an Automobile and Geely Holding Group have partnered with NEO in the battery swap business through details, though details are currently unknown. Dealer Network. As of the end of November, November NEO had 140 NEO houses and 320 NEO spaces and is reportedly bringing in dealers to help expand its reach, the team noted, which is a Beautiful thing. We believe this will be used to expand presence among tier three to five cities and also for the mass market Alps brand, the team said. Now, I wanted to touch on something that I was even complaining about and some of the subscribers have been mentioning that we're not doing enough when it comes to advertising. But remember I said with these YouTubers with over a million subscribers, bringing awareness to Neo in a positive way, also, Tesla never advertised. So I wonder if Neo is following the same business model and with us just presenting at the climate um, forum amongst all these governments, 
that in itself will help bring awareness to us. But anyway, Xiaopeng closed several company-owned stores due to poor performance and Neo may eventually do the same, the team said, thus helping us make more revenue, save revenue. On a related note, dealers could be important for the further expansion in Europe, which has proven to be a difficult market to manage, the team noted. This unit is relatively low cost in our view, requiring about 200 to 300 RMB of OPEX per year, 500 people, but we think represents a distraction for management, you team said. Neo might be better off letting smartphone, smartphone OEMs lead the operations such as the Porsche plus Huawei phone model, according to the team. Again, possibly another spin-off where we'll get shares now in our own phone company. So, <laughs> or, and what we could do is, we could probably team up with another phone giant, like maybe Xiaomi, or Huawei, or some other huge giant, maybe even Apple, maybe even Samsung. And that will be another spin-off. I did not even factor all these things in, guys. I thought it would just be one unit, one stock, but we might have shares in an energy company, our battery as a, our battery as a service, combined with our power station spin-off, the phone spin-off, the chip spin-off, my God. So you see, when these trolls and shorts come into my channel and they read something from Edison Yu and tried to put their own spin on it to spread fear, I said, let me read this article and see what's going on. I, there has to be a reason why they're pooping in their pants. It has to be a reason. It has to be a reason why they're losing sleep, profusely sweating because they're about to lose a lot of money. These shorts are about to lose a lot of money. See, next year is the year of the dragon according to the Chinese calendar. It is the only mythical animal in the Chinese calendar. But we all know the dragon was a real creature. Even the Bible speaks about it. Every culture spoke about the dragon. We're coming to burn the shorts this year. So all of the negative Nancys, the trolls who don't invest and will stay poor and die poor, I feel sorry for them. The shorts, I don't feel sorry for them because their way of making money, sorry guys, I hope my audio is still on. Their way of making money is by spreading panic. So I don't feel sorry for them. They're about to poop themselves. I hope you guys found this video informational and inspirational. If it, if it did that for you guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It'll help generate more awareness to my channel and to Neo. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so. And don't forget to share this, guys, on your Facebook and stuff. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so. Because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset. Lions, where we get rich or we die trying, guys.